Okay, so this is my chamber. I'm sorry for the mess, but so the compressor should look like this and mine goes into my back and you want to plug this in before you get in. The oxygen is going to look like this. The oxygen and the compressor do get a little hot, so you don't want it up against anything. This has three zippers. So if you're using it yourself, you're going to want to get in and you're going to want to kind of line these up just so when you're in there, it's easy to pull together. Because as you can see, when you go in, you're going to have to reach out, do this one, then you're going to do the middle one, and then the bottom one. If someone's on the outside, you can just get in and they'll just zip them all up for you. This part is hard to get, but you got to make sure that the zipper goes all the way up. Otherwise, it's not going to inflate all the way. So if someone's on the outside, they can look at this gauge and they can adjust your pressure. Um, starting off, like I said, I would tell you not to go past 1.5 for a couple days. Um, me and Denise still only dive at like 2.5 or 3 most times. If you're on the inside, I have blankets and pillows in mine because Denise sleeps in here a lot. When you're on the inside, this is I'm sorry, this is the oxygen, and this is your gauge. So when you're on the inside, this is how you control pressure, and you're going to want to leave it all the way open, and once it starts to inflate, you just move it very, very slightly to go up in pressure, very, very slightly. And then when it's time to get out, you want to make sure that this is all the way open, all the way deflated with your app and then you can undo the zippers the zippers are you know you do have to give it some power a little tug once you get out i just unplug the compressor but if someone was out here it would almost be the same thing